Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I have a Zara festive sparkly clothing haul and I've been so excited all week to start filming this. I'm also going out to a little Christmas dinner thing later. So I'm going to see which of these items I like the most, if I want to keep any of them. And um, I think they're quite good sort of party New Year outfits. Um, they could also be Christmas Day outfits. If you get super dressed up on Christmas Day, I personally like to just be a bit of a slob on Christmas Day. Although I do like to do my makeup nicely on Christmas Day. And then maybe wear like a nice coast jumper and some leggings. So I'm gonna get started and show you what I am wearing right now. This jumper is an H&M purchase from a few months ago. But the main event for this outfit is the trousers. Just look at these sparkly sequin trousers. I am absolutely obsessed. There's beautiful gold sequin and I love how they're not like completely covered in sequins. It's almost like a subtle sequin stripe. Yeah, I'm very much obsessed with these and I think I'm definitely gonna be keeping these. I picked them up in a small and an extra small and this is an extra small on me and it fits so well. The small was a bit gapy at the back so I didn't like the fit of that as much. Um, although these are like now high-waisted trousers um, whereas on the model they're sort of worn as like just above the hip trousers. Um, but I actually prefer them like this and it also makes them the perfect length on me. And then also from Zara is this beautiful gold super blingy bag and I'd probably wear it like this as a sort of clutch style. You can put the strap inside the bag if you wanted to. Let me show you the shoes because oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Are these not the most insane shoes you've ever seen. I haven't worn heels like this in such a long time. Um, I also have another pair in this haul that I will show in a minute, but I love the height. It's just high enough, any higher than this, and I can't really walk in them. But I have a very stupid toe on my right foot that doesn't like to bend, so I always get very painful toes, and I feel like these ones are gonna be too painful for me to wear, which is so sad because they're stunning, but definitely, keeping these trousers and I would actually wear these like day to day um, quite casually with like a nice slouchy huge jumper on top and some trainers maybe. Struggling to get a full length again <laughs> but I will try and insert clips on the side of me wearing it full length so you guys can see it properly but I love this outfit because it's cosy and also very comfortable because you're just wearing trousers so I actually think this is a perfect party outfit. Next up we have this amazing dress which is in exactly the same sequin fabric as the trousers and I want to keep this one too. <laughs> when the light hits this dress it's just amazing. It's this wrap style dress with a little bit of a collar detailing going on here. I feel like this dress looks very luxe, like it doesn't look like it's Zara. I love the way it doesn't sort of go around the waist it kind of goes a bit lower than the waist in the tie bit so it kind of gives that relaxed look on top so i'm very tempted to keep this dress even though i don't currently have a plan for when i would wear it i feel like it would be a good one to have in my wardrobe because if i ever go to an event where i need a dress like this then i would already have it i'd probably wear this bag with this dress if this chain put the chain inside and have it like that. It's really annoying because the chain is not detachable on this one. You can only put it inside or just take it off forever. So yeah, I think it definitely works better as just a clutch bag for this one. And I've paired it again with the same heels. I'm absolutely in love with this. It's also got shoulder pads. I already have very broad shoulders already, but I love that this sort of makes them even bigger and then sort of drops the fabric down. So yeah, what do you guys think? Should I keep the dress? This is the last little sequin outfit. I love this dress, 
but it is definitely too short for me. But again, it looks very luxe. It doesn't look as though it could be Zara. They've done a really good job on the like drapiness of this dress whilst keeping it tight. Again, it's got shoulder pads, which just adds that extra little bit of impact and a bold look. So the shoes for this look are some little red kitten heels and how perfectly does this go with a red lip, black and then red shoes. So this is a better look at the neckline of the dress. It's sort of gathered here and then swoops across the chest which is very flattering but then the only problem with me is how short it is. I mean to be fair I could, if I really really loved the dress, I could wear black tights and some little shorts underneath. But anyway, let's pop these shoes on. I have to walk like a little penguin in these because they've got um, little bits of elastic attached. And it's interesting, I tried them on yesterday and they were a lot more comfy and now they're not quite as comfortable today. But I still think they look really flattering and obviously the height is much easier to go through a whole party with. Look how short this skirt is, like, maybe if it was like down there. But then it looks good for being so short, so I probably would just wear tights and a little pair of black shorts. It does look very cool though, so if you're looking for a little black sequin dress, then this could be the one for you. Next up is a little co-ord, and I love co-ords. I think they're really good at being quite a sustainable item to have in your wardrobe, because you can obviously wear the top, with more casual bottoms, or you could wear bottoms with a more casual top, um, or you can wear them together, and it looks super cool. So this one is a gorgeous, silky feeling satin fabric, and it's obviously in this very graphic black and white polka dot, and you can do it all the way up to the top of the neck if you like. I quite like it open a little bit. And then the skirt is this very cute little polka dot skirt that's got a bit of gathering detailing around the waist here and it's, oh honestly the fabric is beautiful it's so buttery and soft um so if you don't like sequins or anything that's a little bit itchy on your skin although i don't like anything itchy on my skin either and i found those sequin ones were fine for me i've paired it with the little red shoes because i thought this looked very classic a polka dot with red and with my red lipstick i think this outfit looks super cool and it's got little cuffs and the blouse has little ruffle detailing you probably can't tell quite so well because it's black so it's hard to pick up the details um but it's so soft i'm not sure i think this bag would probably go with this outfit too um so it is quite a good little bag for going out i always like freak out a bit when I have put an outfit together to go out um, for like a festive something and then I'm like what bag do I take because <laughs> I don't always just want to take a black bag and finally I have this amazing top this is actually from Free People not from Zara I just thought I had to throw this in because it is so incredible the perfect top to wear with jeans <laughs> if you're wanting to go for a more casual party like this would be the perfect house party outfit probably because you can literally wear anything on the bottom half i actually think um leather look trousers would probably look really good with this top actually but i've just styled it with these straight cut light wash jeans these are from weekday and then i've put on the super sparkly heels at the bottom and then I would probably also wear it with this little clutch bag. It's just a super fun outfit. I really like this one. It's very comfortable. You don't have to wear a bra with this top, which is amazing. Makes any night out that little bit more comfortable. <laughs> so yes, let me know what you guys think. When I showed my boyfriend this, he said I look like a historic woman. <laughs> I think those are his words, something along those lines. So if you want to look like a historic woman, then this top is for you. <laughs> I love these sleeves. I use these a lot in my own dresses that I make. I always find them very flattering. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous colour. It comes in a few different colours. So if you don't fancy this one, then I think it came in like a mustard 
and an orangey red and a dark brown. So there we go, those are all of the items that I wanted to show you guys. If you guys can let me know which one you think I look best in, then please let me know in the comments down below and make my life easier. And yes, I hope you guys are all having a fabulous festive time and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.